Good day, YouTube. Today, we've got a bit of a comparison video between MX Linux 21 on the left and Zubuntu 21.10 on the right. So both the latest releases here. Now, starting off with some background info. So MX Linux is actually based off uh, a Debian. Uh, and whereas Zubuntu, in fact, based off Ubuntu, which is in turn based off Debian. So a couple of links extra there, you could say. Now, uh, they are both, uh, well, actually, uh, I'll say MX Linux is more of officially a, a rolling release, even though you get the point release updates every six months or so. Whereas we do have a, a point release for certain for Zubuntu there. So big updates every six months or so. Not really the case with MX Linux at all. Now, this is a really good comparison because these are actually both running on the XFCE desktop environment there. So a nice mid to lightweight desktop environment, still fully functioning. Uh, you've got your all your HUD options. You can type in whatever you want, find it there. Everybody's a winner and away you go. Uh, the In fact, the file manager should be just the same there as well. If you can go to file manager, should be dealing with the Thuna file manager. Okay, so that is a nice mid to lightweight one. As I'm starting to say now, as long as you click right and there's an open terminal, I am happy as Larry. Okay, now uh, let's have a look at the, the kernel. So this is where it might differentiate a bit. So 5.10 kernel for MX Linux, 5.13 kernel for Zubuntu. Reason for that is it is running on Ubuntu, which likes to use later kernels as opposed to the MX Linux one. Uh, let's just lastly have a look at the CPU usage, nice and not light. Uh, let's have a look at the RAM. 563 versus 434, so about a, mm, 130, 150 megabytes of difference for, for RAM on boot up, which is pretty interesting, probably because it's got the older kernel. Uh, all, all, a, whole, a whole host of reasons, really, but uh, it is uh, quite a noticeable difference. Actually, no, I'm saying that back to front. MX Linux is 564 versus 433. So I can't exactly uh, speak as to why that is, but they have been both booted up from scratch. So this is important information either way, just uh, in terms of if you're going to put this on an old laptop, an old PC, whatever floats your boat. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.